And I said, oh my gosh, I think he might kiss me. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> Hi friends of I Love Kalihi Vlogs. In today's episode, I'd like to call it Am I an American or a Mary Kent? <laughs> I cracked up a joke, I know, sorry. But it's from an old um, sitcom about immigrants and that's how I remember that joke. The reason why or that's, that's the title today is because 40 years ago, my parents and I arrived in Hawaii and to help me celebrate or to at least kind of help me look back is my good friend Sol de la Cruz Ferrer. Yeah. Hi there, Freddy. <laughs> <See>? um, <laughs> I love you. Recognize her. <laughs> Here I am. I've been with Teda for over 40 years. Well, I guess 40 years since she's celebrating her 40 years in Hawaii. And we've been friends for a long time and still going strong. So very good. <laughs> So, I was trying to look for old pictures, like even when I just arrived and I couldn't find it. So, I found one thing. Oh! <laughs> wow! So, so, back then, <coughs> before I left the Philippines, um, slam book was the in thing. Yeah. And this is I uh, when your friends write nice things, you know, nice little dedication to you before you leave. And so, I have it. So I had like wow. know, these are from my these are my classmates back then mm -hmm. before I left. So they write nice things to me, and then later on we were still writing to each other. So I found this, and I have yours. Wow! <laughs> I, I was surprised. And <laughs> now, would you believe I haven't read this to myself since then? Uh -huh. Like since I put it away what did for I so write? long. That's why we were gonna read. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you. Look. There's a picture of her and her boyfriend. Yeah. Was he my boyfriend then or yes. husband already? Still well, boyfriend. This is this is nineteen eighty three. I don't think you're married. I got married in eighty four. So See? he was still my boyfriend. See? So Saul wrote to me, Theta Thada. <laughs> <laughs> because that's another thing. Oh, Everybody mean. pronounced my name differently. Yeah. Um I chose the, my favorite is my boss would call me Theta. I like that because it's soft, you know, it's nice, it sounds nice, like it's smooth. The how we say it? Theta. 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 <laughs> That's the worst part. <laughs> Somebody actually calls me that. But my full name when I came to America was Maria Theta Caparon Pilar. When I became naturalized citizen, um, I moved Maria because I didn't want to be called Maria. In fact, in school, I was called Maria because that's yeah. your very first name. Mm -hmm. like, that's not me because I never grew up knowing, you know, or that that's your name. Yes, it's always Teda or Maria Teda or Mateda. You know, in the <laughs> Philippines, they shortened Maria to M A period Teda. Yeah. M A Teresa, like that. So it's Mateda. <laughs> I don't even remember writing in her scrapbook. See? Isn't this special? Yeah. So you said, you are an asset to the Kadiwa Association. So this is the, the organization of the, the church. Uh, of In the church, uh, 18 above, yes. but unmarried, yeah? Um, and to the newsletter, yeah, you just let her read it. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Oh my goodness, I don't remember. And the newsletter. Let it be known that you, your contribution, contributions are appreciated. Few people possess the rare qualities that you have. Ooh, Ooh, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the wonder you became friends. <laughs> <laughs> you said, um, essent personality. Ooh. <laughs> Great sense of humor. Oh, there you go. See? I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, warm heartedness. Yes, that's very true. Which, etc., which all together contribute to make a very good person. And that's what you are. And we hope you will always stay that way. May God bless you in all that in all of your endeavors love you ernie and sol dictated by ernie dow 
<laughs> my husband. <laughs> and look at their picture. Look at that. Guess where that is. <laughs> well, for you in Hawaii, you should know where that is. Yes. So you've been there. Yeah. It's at the Haiku Gardens yes. at Kaneohe, Hawaii. Yes. I think this is one of those times where we um, kind of go around the island when we have guests in the church. So I think this is after church. You guys mm -hmm. are dressed from church. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wasn't that nice? Yeah. And I still have this. And I still feel that way. That she's a warm hearted, kind <laughs> person, generous. Thank and as you, you can soul. see, she has a great sense of humor. <laughs> And now, I don't know if I can read what I wrote. <laughs> it says, To all my treasured friends, you're great to me that you're remembered today for all your kindness and ever sincere ways you, sh you showed to me. So my... Slum book. Oh my yeah, slum so book. my slum book mm -hmm. is open wide for you to inscribe some words for me. Thank you. What? <laughs> oh, was, was I trying to make it rhyme? I think so. <laughs> she was trying so to snow us so we would write nicely in her book. <laughs> Look at the picture of me. So I guess that's yeah one of my early, early pictures. <laughs> this is one thing that I admire about her. You know, she keeps a lot of junk. Uh, <laughs> no, not a lot of junk, but this is something that I cannot do and I've never done. She has memories. You know, she's got good pictures and like that. All these writings that she's kept. Yeah. I actually still have some old letters from my classmates. Mm -hmm. so, it's kind of cool, huh? Yeah, so these are great like, memories, especially yeah, when so you're reflecting on your mm -hmm. life. So this is like 40 years of memories. Uh, give you something to look back to, and um, yeah, everybody get to look at it. Yeah, who's that? Cheryl. Oh, that's one of my classmates in high school. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not showing you what that one is. <laughs> We have actually many things that we've celebrated over the years. Yes, we right? have. Um, uh, in fact, my daughter is about to get married. I next, was about to say that. Yeah, next yeah. month. I guess we're growing old. <laughs> we've grown through a lot. We've seen each other's weddings. We've seen each other's kids. We've, we've been in each yeah. other's wedding. Yeah. Um, I was one of her bridesmaids. Yeah, um, and I'm her Nina. How is that? <laughs> <laughs> now you're my MC. Oh, I was the MC. Okay, sorry. It's my other friend. And I she, became the and, Nina. And she almost dressed me down. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but so, yeah, we were in each other's lives for all these years, and um, it's been a ride. Yes, a good a ride. ride. Yes. It's been a good ride. It's, it's been, been good, good and hopefully, um, for the next. Many more years, yes. there's going to be even a better ride. Yes. There was a time that um, my parents were talking about, oh, we've been in Ho living in Hawaii for a while now. And <laughs> my mom said, ano ba ito? When we arrived, we, we are complete. Our bodies are complete. Now we're missing parts like oh, more no. teeth. <laughs> I thought that was so funny, but that was kind of true because it kind of just it made you realize that when we arrived, we were young and fresh <laughs> and full of promise. <laughs> and um, but I think we we didn't waste the blessings that um, God gave us. Um, we we went to school. Uh, we've been good kids. Right? Yes, yes. We didn't get ourselves in trouble. Um, we. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't do it we didn't too even, badly. I didn't even cut class. <laughs> <laughs> now she wants to. <laughs> thinking back, she's thinking, why did I do that? <laughs> so serious, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Responsibilities? Yes. Why? What? What's your responsibility? <laughs> yeah, responsibility? You're working, you're always that's working, true. thinking about making money, saving money. Mm -hmm. 
and then you know helping her family helping family yeah, yeah i always paid rent to my parents <laughs> <laughs> or i mean i help you know what i mean yeah. like oh as soon as i started working um yeah i helped pay rent and electric bills and stuff that's why i think it was not hard transition for me when i got married uh-huh you know we didn't run around like crazy kids I didn't even drink. <laughs> I was going to say, I went to the prom. <laughs> I went to the prom and then I got shot after. And you're like, what shot? We didn't yeah. even drive. Well, I'm not sure whether I can say it. We didn't. <laughs> this is Hawaii and plants grow here very nicely. But we didn't try that special plant. <laughs> it starts with P. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even smoke. I didn't drink. I didn't go clubbing. <laughs> Um, yeah, the, I went to the prom, but I didn't dance. <laughs> we just, you know, there was a program and there was like awardings. And after that, we went to a show. Crush, it's called The Crush. It's a, it's a, a Waikiki show. Yeah. Um, and um, after we watched that, it was already like after midnight. So when we were going home, my, my date, who is also my brother in the church, um, he was driving and we were just talking and then all of a sudden i felt like i got slapped on the face and then when i looked down in my white gown um i had blood apparently um there were some kids playing with their baby gun <laughs> they were target <laughs> shooting <laughs> drive by shooting yeah See? so i'm like it didn't hurt mm -hmm. but you're like oh my gosh the pellet is there so when we got home my mom was waiting and it was bloody and the more she was freaking out like ah what happened to you? things happened to her but it was so funny about it too because you're so young and innocent yeah. and i said oh my gosh this is my first date yeah and i said oh my gosh i think he might kiss me <laughs> so i was with more palette with no 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 oh, no the thing that. is i was thinking oh my because i was nervous going yeah. home because like if if your date would drop yeah. you off i think he's supposed to kiss you and i go oh my gosh i remember <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, <laughs> now she confesses. <laughs> and I was so nervous, right? Mm -hmm. But then when I got um, hit by the, the, the pellet, pellet, I'm like, oh, it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I got home, I, my mom opened the door and I ran into the, the bathroom where I was bloody. And she's, my mom's like, oh, what happened to you? Yeah. And then my date had to explain to my mom. And then, so when I was washing my face, I could mm -hmm. feel it, the the pellet was embedded in my my uh, so jaw. You got bone. shot. I know you told me this story, but so you got shot, <laughs> and you didn't go to the hospital. You went home. No, we oh. well, yeah, we went straight home because I thought when I wiped everything, yeah. you know, it was just like maybe I just have a cut. Yeah. But when we got home, I go, oh my gosh, I think I got shot because it's inside. It's yeah. a little pellet. So we called the police. Yeah. And here comes the neighbors coming out of the houses and they're like, oh my gosh, they went to the prom, they're in trouble. Because like, <laughs> the police came, all the lights, you know, but then the, you know, they had to investigate. And then when they checked the area where those kids were hanging out, of course they were gone because they knew they hit me because mm -hmm. we stopped. Oh. You know, we stopped when I got hit. So yeah, after that we went to Kuakini Hospital to get that removed, and then I I think we still had classes back then. And then I had this, and then this. Oh, that's the girl. That <laughs> <laughs> she was famous. <laughs> the word got around at school. Mention what school? <laughs> I went to Farrington High School. Me too. <laughs> Different years. Yeah. Farrington, shout out. But we're honor grads. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we did okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. my goodness. We're proud of Farrington High School. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much uh, people making fun of Farrington, but um, I think it's just up to you what to do with, you know. In fact, you know what I realized mm -hmm. when Adara went to... <laughs> What's her school, Manloa? Yeah. Um, when she graduated, her grades were very good. Yeah. Um, she was awarded by uh, the principal's award and whatnot, but she didn't have scholarships like I did when I was in Farrington. Yeah, actually, that's why I had heard too that Farrington offers a, a lot. lot. 
of scholarships. So if you go to Farrington, be smart. I actually um, went to the library mm -hmm. and looked up. There's a book that has a compilation of where you can apply for scholarships. Yeah. And I applied for whatever that I can apply. Even veterans. My dad is not veterans, <laughs> but they give me money. <laughs> oh, gosh. I think that's one thing about, you know, coming from the Philippines. Yeah. You're, you're not shame about these things, you know. Um, I remember they were saying, oh, there's, um, if you want free lunch, mm -hmm. just go to the registrar's office and get tokens. I go, what? Free lunch? Yeah. I go over there. And then, of course, I have classmates that like, yeah, you know, yeah. oh, I'm not going to get free lunch. I have <laughs> money. I'm like, well, fine. I, I don't yeah. have money here. I'm not going to ask my parents if there's free lunch. So that's the same thing, you know, when the scholarship, like when I found that book, booklet at um the library i'm like i applied for everything i have 500 here 500 there <laughs> <laughs> see i didn't so, know that <laughs> <laughs> so i had scholarships and then when i was already in nursing i would call um other organizations if they give scholarships and oh, if, wow. yeah and i was getting money there was this organization that was actually put out by um um uh, Senator Inouye uh. for immigrants. By that time, I'm not considered immigrants. I'm immigrant anymore. I'm a naturalized citizen, so yeah. I don't deserve that. <laughs> but because the immigrants don't know that it's available, yeah. they give it to me. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. See, she's very I, resourceful. Exactly. How's Lacey? <laughs> I, that's one thing I think you, you learn from um, growing up in the Philippines that when there's opportunity, you go get it. Um, and it's just up to you. You know, um, I sent myself to school here and I didn't really have debts <laughs> because I'm, I'm, I'm shameless <laughs> when yeah. it comes to that. Yeah. You know, use other people's I, money. Yeah. Um, it's it's scholarship it's free it's there yeah. They're, they have funds every year and it's just up to you to apply and i had good grades so let's put it that way yeah. at least i for that part i had good grades so and then um you just get like a couple of letters from your minister from whoever that could say you're a good student <laughs> right <laughs> the teacher <laughs> teacher recommendation then yeah you'll get it travel we traveled yeah. <laughs> yeah. So those are one of the things that um, uh, in the 40 years, the things that we did, we we said we lived simple lives. We didn't even do crazy things, but we also did some adventures like we've traveled as well. It should travel so, more than I did. Yeah. But yeah. But you'll catch up now that <laughs> you're more free and you have more money. <laughs> yeah. Because... Even though I didn't have money then, I was just scraping. I was still going. I had a kid who I had to put through school. Yeah. She went to private school. So <laughs> it's an investment. Yes. You know? And education is always an investment. So, and, and then again, from how we went, we did ours, even mm -hmm. if you don't start right away in getting a college degree, don't ever tell yourself that you cannot, no matter how old you are. Yes. Go back, go back, because um, learning um, should not end. And giving yourself an opportunity to have a better paying job should not end, you know? Yeah, and even for your own, own personal esteem, yes, and it's your always own good. Growth. Yeah, to have that college degree. It's, uh, it's never a bad thing yes. to have a college degree. Exactly to have more education is never a bad thing it's always an advantage but it's not always the the means of everything you know i mean some some people of high school i mean if you're that smart and yeah. you, you can be a uh what another what's his name bill gates bill gates <laughs> yeah but there's but they're super a, smart yeah, yeah there's only a few of those so if you know you're not that <laughs> education <laughs> And here in America, it is, it's possible, even though your parents don't have money, like she said, like Tada said, you know, scholarships, there are funds out there. Yeah, um, 40 years later, um, I'm vlogging now. Yes, that's a good thing. <laughs> 
So um, we are not uh, growing old. Um, so we'll have her own uh, business soon. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> or maybe I'll just retire and be happy. Take care of your grandson. Yes, my <laughs> grandson. His name is Alasi. What else do you like to do? You like, uh, is it Kuya that likes uh, planting or you? Mm. you? These guys always have fruits. Today they also brought fruits. Bagels. Yeah. You know, their backyard is not very, very big, but they have a lot of fruits. I have a mango tree. Yeah. What chico. else do I have? Yeah, yeah I have chico. a chico tree. And every tree has a story, but that will be for another vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I have a tangerine tree. <laughs> He has a macadamia nut tree. See, my husband never gave me a rose garden. He gave me fruit trees. <laughs> <laughs> Better yet, yes. you can eat it. <laughs> so, um, are we really that different? <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. a common ground. There's a know. common ground. I still don't we know. We enjoy life. Like, yeah. yeah. We like nice things. <laughs> Although I'm also frugal. But at the same time, we like nice things. Yes. Yeah. Within reason. Yes. We we know what to splurge on and not to splurge. We like to go to nice restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> and stay in nice hotels. Yes. And if we can go vacation often, we would love to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, forty years have taught us a lot of lessons. Many lessons in yeah, to be happy. Yeah, I think so. To enjoy life, you know, to be less nervous about things, not to be so serious, not always worrying. Yeah, and not always thinking about making money, I think. Yeah. I, I think once you start, if that's all your goal is, you'll never be happy because it will never be enough. Yeah, that is true. You know, but if you know how to be content, then you will be happier and you can always find joy in everything so thank you for being my friend thank for you for being my friend too. <laughs> <laughs> for years i just it's so funny yeah. how we're always hanging out but then when you finally realize it's 40 years yeah. i'm like oh my gosh it's like no it's a good thing it's a good thing it's, it's a good thing <laughs>